Hello, YouTube. Yeah, I got the e-bike e -bike bug. <laughs> I was spitting. Yeah, I am. Um, you know, I was really, actually, I was all set to buy an X-Max. I was going to, I don't know, I was going to just start, start on one of those, start modifying it. But I don't know, man. I just decided that I want to go for a ride, man, in the thing. <laughs> so I figure I'm going to do an e-bike build. Um, I went with this frame. I was going to go with the other frame with the plastic panels on the side of it. A uh, little lighter weight, but this thing's a great deal, man. 250 bucks, I thought, you know, for my first e-bike. I'll build it through on this one. The other frame, you really can't touch them for less than 500 by the time you get shipping and everything done. And uh, with this thing weight, I can't really, I can't see it really being an issue. I mean, you can't, you're not going to be able to get away with it. You, you, you might save some weight on the frame. But then that battery is going to be murder and the hub motor and just, it's, it's going to be heavy. I mean, let's face it, no matter what you do. So I got this and then I got this uh, DNM shock. Um, they recommended 200 millimeters for this frame. So that's what I got. Um, I got the, uh, I just ordered zoom forks. I know they're, you know, they get bad reviews or not, not all that great, but um, I'm going to be mostly on the street, so I'm not that concerned about it. Um, then I got the hub motor. I'm going to use a 5,000 watt motor. I'm going to use a 150 amp Sabatron, if I'm saying that right, controller. I'm going to use 19 inch motorcycle wheels. So I'm waiting for that stuff, that stuff to come in. And uh, all right, so I just wanted to do a little little introduction, a little introduction to the next new new project, new new direction. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Okay, so we made a little bit of progress here. Um, went ahead and installed the forks. Uh, it was straightforward. The only issue you have is is putting this lower uh, black bearing race on here. Uh, if you don't have the tool to do that, uh, now I saw this on another YouTube video. I need to link his video, give him the credit. Um, but it's a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe with a cap on it. Uh, five bucks at the hardware store. You slide it over the shaft and just pound that race on. Not not an issue at all. Now this particular um, frame did not come with the bearing cups installed. Um, I didn't have the tool for that. Uh, I didn't have the tool for that either. And so I find it. I just it just just I just made one of these. It's a stud, two bolts. Now it did not work very well. You can see how the washers are bent. I didn't, you got to use thicker washers. If you guys do this, get the thickest washers you can find and, and it should work okay. But it, it did get the job done. Um, then the shock, I put the rear shock on. Now these are not the correct bolts. Um, these bolts, uh, you, you got to use pivot bolts. And they're kind of hard to find. I went to, you know, all the hardware stores around here. I, I couldn't find them. Uh, I found them on AliExpress. Uh, also, I saw some on eBay. They're actually 33 millimeter, which is the width of this. And, uh, you know, that tells me that you, you can crank on those pivot bolts as hard as you want. It's not going to squeeze the shock on here. And then it'll allow the suspension to be be a little bit more free. Um, and then let's see. Oh, the cranks. Um, I got, I just got short 52 millimeter cranks for ground clearance. I got these off AliExpress. They're 50, uh, 52 millimeter uh, 40 bucks with the chain ring. I got a 34 tooth chain ring and then I bought a 22 tooth freewheel. Um, but the motor came with a, I think that's a 16 tooth. So I might try that and see, but like, you're not going to be really pedaling this thing around anyway, man. It, it's just too heavy. I mean, maybe at an emergency, like your battery is dead or something like that. But it, those are, the cranks are just pretty much foot pegs, man, at the end of the day. Um, let's see. And then, oh, the controller, I got a Sabaton, if I'm saying that right, 72150, 150 amp. Um, what you're going to want to do on this though, I want to mention this. Um, they have a new version of this out. Um, and I saw this on another video too. I got to link him. He's, he's another, uh, that's another one that, that I want to put in here, uh, to give credit to, you know, that's, that's why I'm kind of making this video is that, I want to put all these things, see if I could put all these things in one video, all these things to help you if you're thinking about doing this. But this controller with these side mounts on it is actually too wide. I mean, you could put it on, uh, 
on under here, but you're not going to get this cover on. The flanges are going to stick out, out to here. Um, you could mount it, you know, up into the frame there if you wanted to, but, you know, this thing, this thing's heavy. I mean, th this thing is really heavy. And I, I don't think, I, I don't really want the weight up that high. You know, really, I, I'd rather keep all the weight down low, as low as possible. Now, they make a new version of this controller and watch for that. If you're going to order this stuff, it does not have these rails on here. It has mounts in the back and in the front to keep this narrow. That way you can bolt it in here and put the cover on without an issue. Um, now, they do sell the mounts separately, though. And I ordered them from AliExpress, five bucks. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to have to go ahead and like everyone else does and just cut this, just cut the rail off um, and be done with it and mount that in here. Um, the motor, I got the 5,000 watt, uh, three and a half turn. I didn't want to go with the monster motor because, you know, they got that one bigger one. I think it's a 275. This is a 205. I don't think you could get enough battery in the frame to take a full advantage of that larger motor. I really don't. Um, I think this is plenty. It's a, you know, the 5,000 watt. My son has an Onyx bike with a 3,000 watt motor and he pulls 60 miles an hour. And that's kind of my goal here is to get, I want to hit 60 miles an hour. And like, it's a three and a half turn for speed. They make a five turn for torque. Um, but like I said, I want the speed. So, uh, let's see. And then, on the tossy of the tires, I got a Shinco 241. Um, these got really good reviews. A lot of people are using them on the Sarans. It's a soft compound. Uh, this is a 275 uh, by 19. Inflated, it's almost three inches though, so beware of that. Um, the circumference, it's about it's 20. Well, the height of it's 25.5 inches, which is comparable to a 26 inch mountain bike tire and rim really so that's that's really good and the fact that it's cheap 35 bucks for these things <laughs> and by the way the compound's so soft i put it on by hand and, and just just armor all around their edges around the edge for lubricant and just push it on with your knees no tire irons needed for that thing it just went right on that was awesome um and let's see i think that's it for now, and I'll come back. I'm going to do this all in one video, start to finish. Um, that way, you know, it's not all in parts. You just watch it, and and uh, you got all the information there. All right, guys. Okay, so I made some progress. Um, got the stem and bars on. I went ahead and cut down the steerer tube, uh, 28 millimeters. That left 25 millimeters below the stem, and then also the steerer tube's now 3 millimeters shorter than the top of the top of the stem so uh that that leaves lets me you know set the preload and get rid of the play so to speak and these are dmr bars they're 20 millimeter rise the swept back i want to say maybe five or eight degrees I, I i don't remember with a dmr stem um i know with the screen on it says mr bikes now <laughs> i i hope they don't call me that but anyway um then we got dmr oh i cut down the bars uh they were 780 way too way too long so I, I cut them down to 710 um and then let's see i got dmr v8 pedals i have their v12s on my cross country bike and i love them man so i just don't want my foot slipping off the thing uh seat post we got a 27.2 millimeter post fits perfect with a 31.8 millimeter clamp uh seats on its way i was hopefully that comes soon i just wanted to point out a situation i have with this this hub motor here, not really a big deal at all. It's just, you know, trying to figure out, you know, a way to work the spacing on it. Um, it has this ridge right here that sticks out. Even It even sticks out past, past the aluminum piece. And, uh, you know, you can't really, you try to put a washer on it, you know, and it, it doesn't really seat right. I mean, it, it'll it'll catch the ridge and maybe start maybe try to fold inside the aluminum thing when you, if you tighten it down. The only thing that seems to work against there, you know, is you know the torque arm. I got it sanded down because of the wiring, but that fits on here perfectly. As long as that's against the motor, I mean, it it looks it's it's perfect. See, as far as spacing goes, 
you know, you really have to have a washer in here because the dropout's so wide. But then now the torque arm's away from the frame, and I wanted to put a bolt through it. Uh, so I guess what I'm going to do, what I'm going to end up doing is just putting a spacer in there. I don't like it, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But, yeah, if you guys have any other insight in this or, you know, of another way, you know, I, I could actually just take the spacer out and just bolt that swing arm together basically just bend it in but i, I don't really want to do that and it's kind of it kind of you know the the cable's happier with the washer in it anyway so all right well we'll see i'm going to keep working on this and yeah a, a guy from alabama would blow through this in two seconds and he'd be riding it by now <laughs> but but yeah it's just one of the one of those things you know if the ridge wasn't there on the motor i'd put the spacer on the inside and run this on the outside and bolt it in i mean it you know it'd be fine but it's just kind of weird anyway i guess i really what i should have done is just make sure i had the right size dropout and that's another thing i wanted to mention on these frames you know a lot of them if you look there it shows variable it says 155 to 175 and i don't know if that's actually two different swing arms or if they're telling you to bend it to guy you know i'm not sure i can't get a really a straight answer out of them okay so it's done uh it looks a little funky but i don't know the way it the way it locked in there you know when i tightened it down it kind of sunk in a little bit further against that aluminum collar and uh the way it's locked in there i think it really is going to help you know it, i think it will help prevent it from spinning out it's got it's to do something i got it bolted in over here um the other side done super close to the free wheel but it does miss it so that's fine i'm probably gonna leave it like this for now and then uh i had to put a i had to change the uh screw and the tensioner that i put a button head screw on it instead of the one that came with it it's got that one that was hitting the motor just a little bit too long as far as the, the head of it goes um that's it i'm waiting for my 203 millimeter brake adapters so i get my brakes put on these brakes, man, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm probably going to say a prayer when I try and stop. But uh, I don't. I can't say that. I, I mean, I haven't even tried them yet. But we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see on those. All right, so moving right along. Okay, so I got it all done. Um, you can see I ended up putting the controller inside the frame anyway. Um, you know, I, I was originally going to put it up here. But I ended up, I cut the rails off. I used the new mounts. You know, it still doesn't fit under this thing. Yeah, you, know, you could leave this off or, you know, rig up some mounts for it. But I, I don't know. I think um, I like it where it is. I'm going to leave it there. I could not put it on the top where a lot of people put them because of the battery. Here, I'll show you. I got a mock-up of the battery here. And, uh, you know, if I'm, it, that's going to be a 20S12P. And if I put it up here, you, you couldn't really get it out without taking the controller out. So... I think it'll be fine there. I got it mounted in there on standoffs. It's actually bolted in. And the standoffs help it clear the seat bolts. You know, the bolts that hold the seat mount on there. Um, I got the headlight on. Kind of a Saran style headlight. Um, I couldn't find a mount for it anywhere. Man. I, I looked. I, I, I couldn't find it. I ended up uh, using the mount that came with it. Um, then I just made an aluminum plate back here to bolt to the two front stem mounts with some spacers. And it, it worked out pretty good. So, then we have our Zoom forks. Uh, these are the Pogo Stick Edition. No. <laughs> I shouldn't bash them, man. I haven't even tried them yet. But uh, anyway, we'll see how they work out. I got a front brake cable mount, aluminum front brake cable mount. I think that came from JNS Cycles. Uh, moving back here, I got the caliper put on. Spacers right out of the hardware store. I mean, it's centered. It does not hit the motor. It's close, man, but it, it doesn't hit. The caliper doesn't hit, so we'll be fine there. And um, give you a shot on this side. There's the kickstand, which I I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I mean, with bicycles, it's always been you know first thing I used to take off is the kickstand and all the reflectors, you know. <laughs> but we'll see. I might I might end up needing it. It just hangs so low, and I kind of don't want to rig the mounting. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But you know, I, I do want to say that. I've never seen one of these in person until I built it. And, you know, I, I'm not very tall, man. I'm I'm 5'9", 
all right, well, maybe 5'8". And uh, this thing, this thing's pretty tall. What I'm going to do, let me, just hang on one minute. Let me grab a mountain bike. I'm going to grab a standard mountain bike. I'll show you what I mean. You can see what I mean. That, that's a medium mountain bike and uh, medium frame mountain bike. So it's probably like, I guess it's probably like an extra large, maybe equivalent to an extra large frame. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out. And so as far as the battery goes, like I said, it's going to be a 20S 12P. I've watched uh, Yev Getman's video, probably, if I, I hope I'm saying his name right, man. I'm going to link his uh, link that video in the description, but I've probably watched that 20, 30 times, man. But I, I got everything I need, pretty much. I got the holders. Those are 2 by 6 holders. Um, we got the nickel strip. We got the copper. Um, I got the uh, amp BMS, three, up to 300 amp. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, I got this spot welder, uh, I got, I even have, look at this, I even have e-bike screws, book, <laughs> I got 240, uh, Samsung 30 Qs on the way, they've been on back order, so, I'm, I'm waiting for those to come in, I've already, you know, I've already paid for them, you know, I got everything to do it, except for the balls, you know, <laughs> So we'll see, you know, I, I might ask him, you know, if I could send all this to him, see if he'll build it. Maybe he could even do a review on the spot welder right here. It's pretty good, but I, I just don't have much experience doing it. I've, I've built RC car packs, you know, back in the day when you, you know, you pick out, you pick out these cells, you know, you get them as closely matched as possible. And then you build a, you know, you build a pack out of it, but nothing on this scale, man. So... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, I might I might do it, but like I said, we'll see how that goes. And that'll probably be the next video. What I want to do, um, you know, my son has an Onyx bike, so I'm going to, I want to, I want to, you know, my goal is to get this to around 60 miles an hour. And uh, we might do a little, do a little race. We'll see. But uh, all right, guys. So I'm going to post this video as it is now. And then, like I said, the next one will probably be, you know, a speed run or I'll, I'll hit you up on some highlights of the battery. Battery build, you know, maybe some uh, fire department visits. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.